Hey folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. You are not. Let's get it right into the shave. Today, we're going to be using, uh, some folks asked for me to use this, Merker Slant. This is the Merker 37C, which is a slant razor. I'll explain a little bit about how a slant razor works uh, as we go. And uh, as you can see, here's the regular Merker 34C. And there is your Merker 37, you see. You see the head there is twisted. Uh, and the, the sort of concept behind that is cuts kind of like a guillotine or something like guillotine, whatever you want to call it. Um, whereas a, your 34C is straight across. Some people really realize a lot of benefits from a slant type razor. I think they work perfectly well, but showing you that today because it was requested um, by a user. We're also going to announce a giveaway today on the channel. I'm going to be using the Cremo, uh, Cremo Coconut Mango and the Ariana and Evans uh, Synthetic Brush, which I really, really like. It, it's very, very cool. That can be found at the Shaving Shop Club. All right, one thing I want to mention briefly is sometimes I get questions about you can't see much growth on the video. And I've answered this a number of times, but I want to sort of put this to rest. Today I have kind of a, um, I have roughly a day and a half because I didn't shave first thing in the morning. It's Sunday. I have about, uh, I'd say a day and a half growth. And I don't know if you can see that or not because the lighting is just such that you can't really see a lot. But as you can see, yes, I will be actually removing growth, although it's really difficult to see in the camera. So trust me, I'm removing growth every single day, but I am a daily shaver. Uh, I didn't shave this morning because I was away from home visiting. Anyway, let's get on with the pre-shave and the shave generally, and then we'll talk about that and many other things. The pre-shave here, Razor Rock Lime Cube, which if nothing else, if nothing else, it boosts your lather. Yeah, even if it doesn't do anything else, which I'm not saying it does or it does not, it will boost your lather. So it's good on that count. Uh, so let's go ahead with our, again, Cremo. This is uh, coconut mango. This can be found on Amazon. Uh, how many ounces? Six ounces. Decent price. It works well. It, it works perfectly fine. There's no problem whatsoever with Cremo products. I'll, although I will say... The coconut mango here is super sweet, like sweeter than I like. And so I'm not really a fan of this scent. I like coconut, I like mango, but this one is so sweet. Uh, actually, I'm gonna tip my hand a little bit. It's gonna be part of the giveaway for this week. Um, anyway, I'll announce a full giveaway shortly, but super, super sweet. So beware, if you go for the coconut mango scent, which I would normally, like this is too sweet for me however the cream itself cremo original it works very well there's no problem whatsoever with cremo in terms of quality of the cream the original works just fine uh, i pulled the trigger on the uh coconut mango because i figure oh, it's different and folks asked to see cremo and i had used my old tube of uh cremo I didn't have any more, so I, I thought, well, let's try this one. I would prefer the original, uh, scent-wise. But as to performance, it works just fine. No problems whatsoever with this cream. Uh, now, to the slant. Again, as you can see there, the cap is twisted, diagonal. And so as you use it, the concept here is that it's going to cut better and smoother because it's slanted, not straight across, kind of like a guillotine. Uh, whether it does or not, honestly, I don't know. Can, I, I can't say that it's better. I can't say that it's worse. Some people really can tell a big difference. I'm just going to be honest with you. There was a slant craze some years back in the wet shaving community. And it was just slant, slant, slant. Everybody was releasing slants. And we all thought they were the greatest thing in the world. And in retrospect, I think they're just good shavers like everyone else. I, to me... And again, this is probably one of those areas where I sort of part ways from some of my uh, traditional shaving brethren. I don't realize a significant difference from a slant razor. 
I do think the Merker 37C is a terrific slant razor. If you want to get into slant razors, this guy is a terrific slant to start with. It does an excellent job. It's a uh, two-piece like the Merker 34C, terrific. Uh, there'll be an Amazon affiliate link below if you want to uh, check one out. It helps out the channel if you do. But anyway, terrific razor. Also, Razor Rock has a less expensive, I think it's called like German Slant that is really similar to this uh, in terms of the head. I don't think it's two-piece like this. But as far as I'm concerned, at my opinion only, the Razor, excuse me, the <laughs> Merker 37C is a good a slant as any that exists out there, including the premium ones that were made that everybody fawned over. Just my opinion. Again, I'm gonna tell you what I really believe. Um, I bought more expensive slants. Uh, you know, I had thoughts on them at the time and ultimately, after using them against the Merker 37C, I think this one is just as good as any slant, be it, uh, be it a Icon slant or, uh, you know, a Razor Rock slant or Wonder or whatever. Honestly, in my opinion, this slant is just as good, just as effective. Uh, one thing I like about the original Razor Rock slant that came out was the, the, the blade uh, edge was slanted, but the base or the top cap wasn't. So you could use that razor easier because I think what happens with a slant razor sometimes is people naturally tend to want to even it out. So you're not getting the real slant cutting. And the Razor Rock, the first slant they released, the they had lip that was straight across, but the cutting edge was sort of diagonal, which I thought was a very clever idea. But ultimately, this slant is the one that I use the most. I haven't used it for a long time because quite honestly, I pulled it out of storage. I have never uh, actually, since I moved, gotten all my stuff out of storage. Not You know, I have a lot of brushes still in storage that I haven't <laughs> located yet because there's a lot of stuff, you know, on top of other stuff and so on. But anyway, this slant is just as effective as any other slant, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, that's obviously just one person's opinion. One thing I want to do uh, today is thank Mike Lucas. Mike is our latest patron, uh, excuse me, Patreon supporter. Thank you very much, Mike. I really, really appreciate it. Big, big help. If you want to support the channel, uh, and by supporting the channel, it brings new gear, new products. Uh, there is the link, Patreon, if you want to be a supporter. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much, Mike. Uh, let's carry on with our shave. And thanks, uh, actually, everyone. We've had some terrific responses in the uh, in the comments, and I really appreciate it. It's fantastic. Uh, again, today is Sunday, and this will be posted sometime Sunday uh, evening, and then I'll have a head shave for you that will be posted up first thing in the morning, which will be Monday morning. So be on the lookout for that. Those of you who like uh, head shaves, I'll use the leaf razor again because people really wanted to know if that would be a good hit head shaver. The first time around was a good, really good for me. So go check out that video if you have not. And uh, thanks so much for your time. I had a really great conversation yesterday with, uh, on the phone, with Jammin' James. If you haven't seen his channel, go check out uh, G.I. Jammin' James. I think it's his handle, if I'm not mistaken, but I just know him as James or Jammin' James. Super, super high character, good quality individual. He does very relaxing shaving videos. You know, he's not one of these guys that shot out of a can and he's very deliberate in his approach. It's almost like an, uh, a Zen, like, you know, everything is cool, calm, you know, slow, deliberate, really good stuff. And really, uh, one of my friends and a terrific guy we were talking about Reverend Harkins and so on, you know, which I touched on briefly yesterday and the community and our lives and twists and turns and challenges and so on and so forth. But please go check out uh, his channel. One of the things that I realized is I actually thought 
it might have been a problem with uh, YouTube and people I subscribed to, but I actually figured out that I was subscribed to a ton of content on iLather, but not on IMCDB. So when I created the IMCDB channel, it was mostly not for shaving originally. But then when I started putting all my content there, I never went and resubbed to all the shaving channels I was subbed to on iLather. So that's why I was missing. So if I'm not subbed to your channel, uh, and you're a shaving person, please uh, make a comment below. Let me know you're out there. I would like to, you know, sub to your channel uh, and check out the content. Now, granted, if you're someone that trashes people, poor character, I, I have no interest in <laughs> subbing, but most of the people I think in this community are pretty good folks. By the way, I love this brush. The handle just feels right. It fits, you know, it's the proper length for a bowl like this. It's terrific, in my opinion. And boy, the, the cream, this cream is a good quality, but woo-wee, the scent. Woo-woo-woo, it is sweet. It is too sweet for me, and I like sweet scents. Don't get me wrong, I am not in any way, shape, or form opposed to sweet scents, but wow, it is just super sweet. Um, too much for me. And anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the giveaway before I do this last pass. The giveaway is going to be, of course, the Cremo Coconut Mango, which I've taken one squirt of, and Open Comb Shave Revolution. Shave Revolution was a business that uh, uh, went out of business, or actually Justin closed the business uh, a couple of years ago. Terrific guy, uh, Justin. He sent me some things to give away. I'm still giving them away. Uh, long removed from the the uh, the business being open, uh, open comb head, stainless steel, a uh, wave handle, shave revolution. Justin, he was a terrific guy. I haven't heard from him for a long time, but really someone that I liked a lot. Anyway, if you want to enter, please, first of all, you need to be a subscriber. So if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. That's very important Two, make a comment below. Tell me where you're from. Tell me something about yourself. Tell me something you'd like to see on the channel. Um, just a general comment. And I always like to know where everyone is from. I'm just curious about that, generally, where people are watching from. And if you have specific questions you'd like me to get to, you know, I'm trying to collect that information and and uh, answer those questions and so on, both in the comments and on video. So please make a comment below and we will uh, announce the winner probably next Saturday. I don't know the date off the top of my head. Like it's probably something like the 8th or 9th of February. I'm not exactly sure what today's date is. I think it's February 1st. So it might be the 7th, 8th. I'm not sure. But anyway, we'll, uh, we'll draw, announce the winner on Saturday and we'll do another giveaway next Sunday. So Sunday is going to typically be the new uh, giveaway day. I want to thank everyone who's been participating. Sadly, we can only pull one winner. And another thing I want to mention about the giveaways is if you don't claim your winnings after a week, it goes back in the pool and I will put it up for giveaway again. And we have had folks not claim their winnings over the years. So um, I, I do these giveaways for the people who are viewing. So you have to be watching and, uh, you have to see that your name is announced. I don't contact you. So you have to claim your winnings. I'm assuming that you're watching. And if you're not, you might miss out. So, wow. Really, really nice smooth shave today. Uh, by the way, the blade in here, Gillette Silver uh, Blue, or is it, let me see. I forgot already, <laughs> I forgot what the blade was. Yeah, Gillette Silver Blue, so I was right. Terrific, it is a terrific blade for this uh, Merker 37C which in my opinion, terrific razor. I haven't used it a lot, because like I said, just got it out of the uh, storage, cleaning up a little bit. And that was that was a terrific uh, shave. The quality of the Cremo is actually quite good. It will work just fine. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise in terms of slickness, cushion glide and all that stuff. I don't care for this scent. This scent for me, way too sweet. It'll be one of those things that I just do not like, but I like the quality of the cream. So it's not, all is not lost. Terrific razor, 37C. 
the Shaving Shop Club brush, Ariana and Evan's Terrific. You can go to the Shaving Shop Club online for that. I want to thank everybody for the support. After I rinse my face down, I'm going to hit, hit it quickly with uh, some Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. And then we will follow up with uh, Club Man. This one is vanilla. Uh, terrific uh, aftershave, old-fashioned type that you can get, again, on Amazon below. Uh, affiliate link below if you want to check those things out. I want to thank everybody once again for joining. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB. You, of course, are not. God bless.